My name is Dick, and it's time to get back on track with the regular story. No more murder mysteries for a little bit. Introduction update. <laughs> so it's been about, I don't know what, 10 episodes or so of this new intro, and I gotta say, I absolutely love it. I think I reviewed it kind of coolly at first, but that was just because I was so in love with the intro before this one. But this one is great in its own right. I've come to appreciate it watching it each episode since the, the first time I saw it. There's a moment coming up that I absolutely love. It gives me chills. I think I missed it the first time because of all the new characters. Right here. This is such a beautiful moment. The, the admiration. Bakugo shows to All Might. Perfectly timed with the music. And then the side by side, Bakugo and Deku. I'm a little bit slow, but you know, I catch on eventually. <laughs> Intros are not, I don't know, I, I like, feel like I never really saw them as an essential part of the experience or as being part of the art. I mean, I've always enjoyed anime openings. There are some songs from anime I've been listening to for, I don't know, 20 years, you know what I mean? But I think it was really Attack on Titan that finally drove it home for me. Starting with Red Swan, how essential or how integrated the openings can be with the actual story. But I'm still learning to appreciate them. And a lot of the time I find that it takes me a bit. I gotta watch it a bunch of times. I think there's something about having musical recognition. Like if you know a song, there's a certain trajectory it follows where the first time you, you know, you feel wh whatever you feel about it, your appreciation for it tends to grow until it reaches sort of an apex of like, you're in sync with it, but at the same time it's new. And then from there it sort of becomes like just known. You know what I mean? Starting off with a Targets flashback. Sounds more like a game <laughs> than an examination. Right? It's basically it dodgeball. Let's easy. be real here. You're not seeing the bigger picture. Oh, I feel attacked. Will they panic? Or maintain the level head of a pro who utilizes their quirk to Hard not to panic decisions. when Gang Orca is, you know, destroying your dreams. People loved All Might not just for his strength, but for his personality. Right. They must accept the fact that the number two hero is <laughs> now replaced me. Oof. Endeavor burn. Rather than waiting for the next, the next number one, we should fill they the spread hole left with an out. army of heroes boasting a strong sense of unity and huh. camaraderie. You know that? All right, I've been critical of this whole program thing and the whole exam and the way it's structured. I actually feel like that's pretty solid, though that doesn't necessarily mean you need a quota. The whole like reducing the number of heroes seems to be a separate issue. The sad thing though is that you can take you know ten thousand heroes and not fill the hole that All Might has left behind. And that's where Decker comes in, and here he is. It does look really Can you awesome. Rescue people and fight at the same time. Well chosen for this this role. Gang Orca fought alongside Endeavor and Bestinus. Yeah, that's right. He's a strong pro. Right. Uh, amidst all the chaos, I have one one very important question that I you know I, I need answering. Where is Best Genius and why is he not okay yet? They are really keeping me in suspense here. I've been asking for like twenty five thousand episodes. Are you serious? Don't panic, Mineta. I'm expecting a lot of difficult, to be honest. They're going a little far, I'd say. Is that, you know, actual concern for Maizawa? Will you fight or protect? Todoroki's ready. Help or run away. And Bison is ready. What would a hero do? I think he was born ready. What's the big idea? Who isn't gonna be able to rise up to the occasion? Wow, dang, look at that. He's going all out. What is Gang Orca's quirk again? Just Orca? Like Tsu is frog? Gang Orca, Quirk Orcanus. Orcanus. An orca can. Yeah, it is like two, yeah. Hands. That includes using an ultrasonic wave to paralyze his prey. These animal quirks are kind of kind of OP with like the multiple multiple usages. We'll help. Totally Who's gonna rise up as leader? Where have you guys been? We found hurt people over by the river. Seems like they're naturally looking to Midoriya. They just came right to him. But we couldn't stand by and watch these villains do this. <laughs> They're also good at role playing. I'm gonna blow you evil doers away! Yeah, this kind of thing I feel like makes you lose points. Man, they really pulled out all the stops for us, didn't they? They're testing for teamwork, they said, right? And they mentioned that Inasa is immature. Can he work together with Todoroki? That should be cool. Everything you say is a distraction. Why don't you go help with the first aid station instead? No, no, this Your is not it. Would be good for that. This is not cooperation. I'll take care of him. I really want Todoroki to pass. They just cancel each other out. That's terrible. You ruined my shot on purpose, didn't you? Oh no. Using your wind to blow away my fire. Uh, you blocked me, so you get all the Game was like, um, <laughs> I don't even need to do anything. They're just gonna destroy each other. You are Endeavor's son. Well, this all came out in the open during the exam, which is great timing for everyone. The old man's got nothing to do. Yeah, I was about to say. Good luck trying to move when that heart. The builds were just stunned into inaction for a bit. 
Yeah. I can't believe you're arguing. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to pass after that. How many points did you just lose? Backstory? Be full of Backstory time? They care. <laughs> oh no, that's what it is? You're in my way. Are you gonna get an autograph? I think Eminem has a song about this. I feel like I have controversial feelings about this. The whole like, they're having their worst day and so you gotta be a positive face on things. I mean, it would be nice, right? Like it would be great if the number two hero could acknowledge his fans every time and give them autographs and give them all the attention and put a brave face on things. And Endeavor is sort of this giant man child in many ways who is just a terrible parent and husband and does awful things and is selfish and etc etc. But I feel like in the scale of what's at stake, for me as a civilian, the actual showing up and saving lives part is way more important than their, their disposition. This is probably just a personal thing for me, but I always bristle at jobs that try to force me to have a certain emotion outwardly, even when it's not what I'm really feeling. It's one thing to not be rude, you know, it's one thing to kind of keep a status quo and be neutral. It's another thing to have to be like always outwardly kind and always outwardly exuberant or giving some kind of image rather than just getting a task done. For me, I find that distracting and I understand the reasoning behind it, but I find it somewhat dishonest at times. I'm not always feeling great. You know, especially if I'm a hero fighting villains and getting, you know, torn to shreds on a, on a constant basis. Sometimes it, I'm in a bad mood. You know, I only have so many resources. I sign how many thousands of autographs, right? I'm going to have moments where I'm just not feeling it. And I'm a human being. So isn't that worth something too? Like, isn't the, the honesty of expression worth something? Isn't it also important to know that heroes are flawed? Isn't that in some sense the one mistake that All Might's philosophy has that he's this untouchable hero and so because he exists and is always perfect and is never weak, we don't need to worry about anything and, and life is perfect, etc. And this is not just TV. I feel like this is real and has real stakes in life because when we like people, let's say celebrities or politicians or whatever it may be, we're so quick to put things into groups like friend, enemy, etc. or like, dislike, that when we like an aspect of a person, we tend to over extrapolate that into they are perfect beings. And that's a huge mistake in my opinion because just because people do things really well, certain things really well just because they're in the spotlight just because they have xyz positive traits does not make them perfect and it's really important to leave room for that it's really important to leave room for their humanity and their fallibility otherwise you get stuck defending people who you've previously placed in in the good camp even when they're doing really atrocious things just because you're you know you feel like you're on their side also you potentially set yourself up for bitterness if you expect perfection from anyone i think one positive thing that comes out of this sort of this sort of worship is that it creates an ideal but the purpose of an ideal for me is something to strive towards and you don't necessarily need the person to be perfect to strive for their ideal values you just you need to be clear on what the things are that that we respect and for endeavor he can be a total jerk and you can still respect his competence you know you can expect his work ethic his drive his presence you know there's a lot to respect about endeavor and I think the more you can separate like that, and the less it's just like, I love this person and this person is perfect, the clearer it becomes and also the safer you are from this kind of, you know, weird celebrity influence or whatever. I thought it was going to be like, I never accidentally killed his father with the way he's acting. This is such a small scale thing for me. It's almost babyish. Because when I said hello, you're in the way. Oof. Did we see this? We didn't, right? This is the first time. You think we're the same? Todoroki's scored a lot since Don't then. Don't be ridiculous. Although, he is a lot like Endeavor, as painful as that will be You're for us to admit. I'm nothing like him. I thought we'd worked on this a little bit, no? He, he is like him, my father. and that's okay. He doesn't really know me. It's just you gotta pick and choose I what, have to know, focus on the test. what traits you carry on in your life. I have no feelings about my old man anymore. Uh, no, 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 this is self-delusion. No. There is still some hate inside me. There you go. At least it's honest. It's all right. No, good. no, it's fine. The important thing is that he at least acknowledged it instead of being this world of everything's fine, everything's fine. I'm not like my father at all. You don't deserve the title, understand? Okay, Stain. Again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, okay, no, you're being Taking it all in. Oh my god, I almost killed the hero. Deku may have just saved Todoroki's career. What are you two doing? Yeah, yeah. Tell him, Deku. It's this, if there was ever a time to medal, this might be it. But can Deku... Save civilians, fight villains, and meddle at the same time? <laughs> Probably. Risking their lives for the sake of the world. That took real passion. Mm -hmm. And he is a very Which passionate is why I couldn't understand human him. being. Endeavor. Who had eyes that seemed to hate everything they saw. Endeavor was also very passionate, though. The only thing I couldn't stand. I don't know, maybe there's something scary about Endeavor for someone like that, you know? It's not just sunshine and rainbows. It's, it's a job. It's a grind. You gotta be tough and gritty to make it to the top. Making an ice path to move. That's smart. I'm gonna find out why I didn't choose UA. Then maybe I can become friends with him, and his eyes won't bother me anymore. This is this is so weird. This is a, a very interesting like internal crisis that's playing out here. It's such a love hate thing. He still wants Endeavor to recognize him, and by extension Todoroki. I'm guessing you must be Endeavor's kid, am I right? 
That's so awesome! Shut up. I just came here to pass a stupid test, that's all. Yeah. Yunasa also doesn't know Todoroki's backstory and baggage, and so that's a natural reaction from him. Hard to believe they're from top schools. Probably. Yeah, they're number failing. one and two Not recommended students. How many? I bet we're at like 60 points now, or 51 points. Right on the edge. I did everything I could to ignore who I am. Is that catching up to me? Right. My past and my blood. I can't just bury them. Yeah, it's a really good insight. They're a part of you. You reap what you sow. Yeah, they did have this coming. But this exam is about community, lending a helping hand. How did I become everything I hated? I'm in this mess because of my own actions. Are they both talking simultaneously? They are. This. Interesting. Yeah, they're a lot alike, I guess, in their way. Well, my extremities are still pretty numb, but I'll bounce back. Sound waves nice. That they make a really good pair, these two. From my vibrations, so I've built up a pretty good tolerance to them. Solid explanation. <laughs> Acceptable. I the henchmen. Join in, Deku. Make sure they're out of the game. We'll split up and get there. The you go. There you go. This is what you like to see. This is cooperation. Deku's passing, unless he, you know, sacrifices himself as he is wont to do. Our quirks aren't compatible, and we have zero teamwork. Aren't they compatible though? Uh, couldn't they be? Wind and fire. I mean, I feel like that's actually lethal. Come on. Work with me. Come on, communicate with me telepathically. With fire and wind, we'll trap you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so many possibilities, no? I mean, mainly blowing fire around, but a lot you can do with that. He's able to control his quirk barely, and this one. I like how he's talking from within this inferno. It's not a bad start. Can they gain points or can they only lose points? I have to admire their persistence. Hey, behind us! The boss is trapped in some kind of fire tornado! <laughs> I love these henchmen. They're so exuberant. What? Toroki! Did he just use both, both at the same time? If I could only wow. Use both sides at the same time. Is that the first time he's done that? When I can't move, my speed doesn't make a difference. Oh. Acceptable explanation. <laughs> There you go, Deku, you know, putting his new sneakers to good use. His newly discovered legs. Oh, that was awesome, yeah. They only have three people to get to safety before they're done. Look at Mineta doing his part. I see you, Mineta. Oh my god, that was brutal. When did your tongue become like a battering ram? <laughs> She's like secretly over here doing Goku Super Saiyan stuff, just silently in the background. A cyclone prison of wind and fire. Not bad. It's actually but perfect for the opportunity for this situation too. Because they don't need to beat him. Mercy. They just need to contain him long enough to rescue the, the civilians. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I have nothing. <laughs> and there's other heroes. No! Yeah. Deku, chief among them. Um, yeah, so at this time, all of the Huck members who were deployed have been rescued from the disaster zone. I did kind of want to see Deku fight Gangorka, but that was the assignment. Thanks for your hard work in today's exam. Wish now, I could say the same I about you. The oh no, more, more twists. These tests, man, they're just meant to keep people on edge. Doria. <laughs> I mean, he passed. He's got it. He passed. He has to have... Uh, what? He had passed. He passed. No, come on! Come on! He passed, though. Well, I was expecting a really cool fight against Gangorka. I wasn't expecting it to be this awesome Todoroki revisited thing, where he hasn't quite accepted the fact that he's just inevitably going to be a lot like his father. I mean, it's just in his blood, and it's in his upbringing, and it's just the way he was developed. And that is not a bad thing. It's just a matter of what he does with it. To deny any connection, to try to forget it, is sort of missing the point in my opinion. It goes back to what Deku was saying way back in the tournament, you know, it's your quirk, not his. And I think Todoroki acknowledges that he's just not all the way there yet. He hasn't fully adapted that into his behavior. Life is really complicated and it can be difficult to accept that even the worst people have, have great traits, you know, or are human in very important and good ways. And it's also important to realize and accept and not separate from the idea that other people's evil is also our own potential for evil. And no amount of denying connection will solve that. Really, it comes down to the fact that every moment is a choice. And so the more realistic you are about your natural traits or the more realistic you are about your potential, the clearer that becomes and the greater spectrum of choice I feel you have. It's not about outright rejection. It's not about seeing yourself as like a clean slate that's independent of influence in the world or somehow by recategorizing yourself you're immune from the mistakes of our predecessors or, or whatever. For Todoroki, he has so many gifts that come, you know, pretty much straight from Endeavor. His quirk 
you know, not least among them, but also probably key parts of his personality, like his resilience and his drive and his work ethic, maybe. And also some of his traits that are opposite from Endeavor also come from Endeavor, you know, like his open-mindedness, his reasonableness, his strong distaste for unkindness, you know, things like that. So he's always going to be a product of Endeavor. And the question is now seeing those things as things that are of him and using them exactly the way he wants to use them. So that's represented in the show by being able to use fire and ice together, you know, being able to harmonize the components with full mastery. It's kind of a beautiful metaphor. It's one that I'll always, I'll always like because I feel like it's just a very human struggle because nobody is born with a clean slate. There's so many ways we're set up to, you know, be certain ways. And I think part of the human experience and journey is to just become more increasingly aware of the fact that we can envision other things and then move towards those things and not be just sort of on a railroad track that's been set out for us. And then running parallel to that, you also have the Inasa backstory, which, you know, in some way was a little bit underwhelming. It's just an autograph, at least from what I've seen. But what makes it more heartfelt, I guess, and more believable is the fact that it's clearly shown that his hatred is just the, the mirror image of his strong love. He still wants to be accepted. It feels to me like he's looking for validation. He's looking for acceptance. He wants to be told that he is worthy. Maybe he's unsure of his own ability. Maybe he's unsure he can rise to the level that Endeavor is at, which would make Endeavor rejecting him extra threatening, especially interacting with Endeavor's super cold traits. It's not this accepting world. It's it's actually really tough to be a hero. It is a grind. It will wear you down emotionally. It will wear you down physically. Even All Might is, you know, obliterated by the end of his career. And Endeavor wasn't kind to him, and that's unfortunate, but I think that's unfortunate more for Endeavor than for Inasa, because that's just what happened, and that gives Inasa an opportunity to be the kind of hero he wishes Endeavor was. I like the dual recognition by both him and Todoroki that by being affected in that way, by being sort of blind to what was important in the moment, they actually ended up being endeavor light, which is often the case. The only way out of that trap of just becoming exactly the thing you hate, I think, is just to sort of not let that thing be a cornerstone of your beliefs and therefore your behavior from then on, but rather to focus on what you actually want. Not to be stuck in the bitterness about what other people have done or what the world is or whatever, but instead to focus on the task at hand, let's say. So really fun stuff with Deku sort of as a, as an observer. He's there helping, but this is really like a Todoroki and Inasa episode, I feel. And now the exam is over and I'm very interested to see what the repercussions will be and who actually will not make it. Because I feel like this will have potentially big effects for those people. But that's the end of episode 21. I'll see you guys next time when Best Genist finally, finally gets out of the hospital with a full recovery and everything is fine. What if Bakugo fails? That'd be weird.